Okay. So. Oh, that's wonderful. That was amazing. Now that we. So now that was the last ending. That was the last normal ending we can get. So now. We, we did get all the alternate endings, right? Yeah, we did. I kind of okay. ran through them really quickly last time we. Last time I streamed. Yeah, I just, I was like, wait, I think we did all of them. I think I'm not going to be stopped before that, but I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> it is time. Oh god. It is time to fulfill the promise. It is time to fulfill the promise. Also, all our, uh, this is all our endings that we got. It's a sad, sad thing, bark, bark. It is a sad thing, bark, bark. The, the thing with the game is that uh, you're dating pigeons, so there's a there's many many endings. Um, and also, then, a zombie's path is a lot shorter because yeah. usually the game lasts until like what? It's about a year long, I think. Yeah, you you get a full year like you go through New Year's and all of that, but like a zombie, her her, her ending happens in the middle of summer, so it cuts the game short because she's <laughs> like a. She was a special edition for the Steam release. <laughs> yep, yep. So yeah, there's there's more game. There's much more game. And if you're curious, you can look at my old vods or, or YouTube or whatever. Um, but yes, we're actually going to do... Now what we're about to embark on <laughs> is a journey into the backstory of this game. Mm. The, the backstory of this game is a thing. <laughs> It sure is a thing. Like, oh, hey, look at this cute game about dating birds. Isn't this a laugh? No, man, you don't even... Holy shit. We probably shouldn't go through the files until after, just because. <sighs> okay. I, I, so I don't know if we have to do anything special? Um, well, I'll, I'll bring up the BBL thing. Okie dokies. Welcome to St. Pigeonations. Please enter oh. your name. Yeah, actually, we can't fail this, so woo. We can't fail this? Yeah, this <laughs> apparently on the HD release, you can't actually get a game over during this. Oh, wow. Wait, Which dur you could in the original. Or during the actual part, or during the uh, getting to the part? The, um, the machine game Thomas. Yeah, you just you just do it. <laughs> okay. You can take this chance to fulfill a promise from long ago, or you can live a normal school life this semester. Which do you choose? Fulfill the promise. Is there anything you desire? I can grant whatever you wish. Tell me. A strange bird once said that. Who was that bird talking to? St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curriculum facilities. Welcome, PJs! You're just, Hi, PJs. <laughs> you're just in time for the backstory of this game. <laughs> We're going to fulfill the promise. Join us. Join us. Join us. Anyway. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. <laughs> ordinary life of living in a cave, yes. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan. No, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. 
Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota! Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Hyoko. Overslept? Yota! I just want to say sorry in advance. I'm so sorry in advance. This Rapta of his name Kamada Ryota, we've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation moves. Thanks, Gilta. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class! Jeepers? No good being late on the first day. Jeepers. Jeepers. <laughs> and so Good Yota word. pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make it up for all that lost fun. We're in 2-3. Yota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's the formation of many happy memories. <sighs> oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and... Physics and also some other things. Sensei, wake up, it's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? This quail is Nanaki Kazaki. He's a famously soporific math teacher. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. You know, just also, randomly, we've gone through this opening so many times, and it only took me until playing this myself to realize that they friggin' typoed his name and his intro yep. card. Good job. They did. I, gee, I guess you were you went to get a drink or something at that time when I when I saw that last stream, because yeah. I was like, Probably. wait, I was like, wait a minute, they put Kazuyaki. <laughs> Good job. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Also, ah, uh, Smash Brothers, ah! Uh. Oh man, I have not seen any of the demo stuff yet. So, I don't have to cry about Ness anymore, because Ness is definitely in there. How could they not have Ness in the game? Everyone was freaking out about it. I'm like, guys, guys, no. <laughs> I know, I know, but still. I'm just gonna sit here and pout forever the fact we're never getting Roy again. Sobe! I just want Roy back. <sighs> uh, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Yes, it is. In my room, at least. <laughs> Which room? We have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. <sighs> what is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Roy Koopa? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's not good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirokane? <laughs> Shirogane Rebeiru Sakuya. This guy. Mm. And this nerd. It seems this fan tale is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakya sits down, glaring daggers at Yota and me. 
I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already? Today's slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Hmm? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or I'm not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but they're apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? <laughs> he looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. It's the same things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Tosaka Hyoko, a sophomore. What about you? Y you're... Nageki. Fujishiro. Nageki. Freshman. Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice. He seems kind of sad. Nageki. <laughs> Sobbing. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh, my voice can't give out now. I have so much reading to do from now on. Dad. I keep meaning depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head to cl back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Oh, come on, Sakuya. What kind of a thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... <sighs> I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter in ladies' band Sakazaki Yuya is Sakia's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. You heard the whole thing right. Are you a friend of Sakya's? I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to listen in on you. <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. Yuya! Yuya! This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Every girl knows of him. You're Hyoko... Hyoko-chan? I'm pretty sure he to call her. You're Hyoko-chan, right? How, how did you... I know every bird is here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? 
He's a bit of a pain. So good luck, mon ami. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about you, Yako. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Mm -hmm. Sensei, where's Yota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there? Now that I think about it, Yota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Ojamashimasu! No birdies here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Yota? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Yota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethyl, ethyl par, trife, luciobenzene. What do these even do? <clears throat> Care to find out? D -d 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 doctor <clears throat> I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm. No, thank you. <laughs> This partridge is you, I mean the shoe, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Every pretty knows that even just talking to him can bring you down aspergillus, cytokosis, or even worse things. And I never even heard him come through the door. Ninja doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Do you need something? Um, I heard Yota. Kabara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? S sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Oh, finally out of that den of evil. Yota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh. I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for ba baseball, soccer, track, candle, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? <laughs> anyway, I'll stop. Watching club is still so tough. <laughs> yes, his theme is the Nutcracker's uh, Sugar Plum Fairy. Yup. Yup. You'll never be able to hear that song the same ever again once you know what that character's like. <laughs> yep. Anyway, I'll start with track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. Stop being racist! God! <laughs> I think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side. Why Dove is having a tantrum outside? Cool, cool! This is no pudding for a man! Cool! Oko-san rejects it! It is a lie! A vicious falsification! He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Okosa, this is Okosa. He doesn't, he doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fan, uh, fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Cool! Okosan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Ooh! Oko-san instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Cool! But this is no pudding! Ousted, scored, betrayed! Dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Cool, cool! Spare the jests, young lady! Oko-san used wing attack! It's super effective! Cool! They'll rue the day they crossed Okosan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will! 
Cool! Okosan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell! And he's gone. Goodbye, our pudding god. <laughs> he's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? Everything. Everything. And so ended the first day of my semest second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Cool! Oko-san has time only for the track team. Mm -hmm. That's good. What about you, Shiroki? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism, ho! Oh, do we get a vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the. So, anything in particular? It, it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, I feel like we do have to. Do we have to run Dang Hill at all? Should we run Dang Hill at all? I don't. No, whatever. Just join in summary. Who cares? I think it all. I think it goes the same no matter what. Okay. I think Dang Hill just kind of hurts in of his own accord. Alright. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. Besides, we want to talk to Yuya more. Yes, Yuya. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend... Uh, sure. Music. Let us music. Toot toot. It's a sad thing, toot toot. <laughs> sad thing, chirp chirp. I'm supposed to help at the infirmary today. I shouldn't keep them waiting. Better hurry. Salutations, Hyoko. Yuya? What's wrong? Are you hurt? So sweet of you to worry for me. But no, I'm the second in command here. You are? I never would have guessed. I couldn't be happier, Monami. Mystery is the most powerful of aphrodisiacs. Anyway, our job as staff is to check the medicines and clean up here. Normally, I'd do that. But today I've got some stuff I need to take care of, so could you handle this mess for me? Of course. My thanks, Hyoko. Oh, uh, Hyoko-chan. Uh, oh, and don't touch the desk. It's the doctor's personal area. I'll take you somewhere nice in return. Adieu. <laughs> Yuya flutters out the door. Did he just ask me out? Anyway, clean. Some of these drugs are a little weird, no matter how you look at it. Is this really an infirmary? It feels more like a human, or rather, avian experimentation room. Mm -hmm. The desk drawer is open and there are files sticking out. Everything was very neat when I was here last, but maybe the doctor's a little careless about tidying up? Yuya did say not to go near the desk, but... I think I'll never touch it. No, don't do the thing. <laughs> I'm a little curious, but he did say not to go near the desk. Better to leave it alone. The doctor might show up and turn me into Hyoko Salami. <laughs> 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 so unfortunate. The most unfortunate. <sighs> Sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh, tomorrow's the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... Yota. Yota, let's eat together. Sure. Great view, huh? Hmm? Is that your lunch, Yoko? Yep, it's Karori Mei. <laughs> That's a pretty sad thing to bring on a picnic. No, it's not. A great man once said it's the ambrosia of the gods. Jeez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back. Here, I'll share, I'll share mine. Really? Wow, thanks, Yota. 
And so I got to eat half of Yota's lunch. This cooking is so good. We can save the cal calorie mate in case of a survival situation. <laughs> Cry. Just don't become the calorie mate. Please do not become the calorie mate. Today's an elective day. What should I do? I will... Oh, math. Why not? Hmm, I'm not getting this at all. Maybe you should review the basics a little more, Tosakasa. <laughs> Hi, Sensei. <laughs> Kyoko leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Uh, I imagine you're all well aware, but this sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival, so it's always been in May. What are you going to what are you going to do, Yota? Mm, I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged face. Some birdie has to. Cool! Oko-san will handle the marathon! Whoops! Whoa! Yikes! For you okay. Technical difficulties, hold on. Oh god. Please stand by. Uh, <laughs> a bunch of stuff fell over. Oh god, are you alright? I'm fine. You do have a lot of stamina, Okosana. What about you, Sapia? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It is a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? about being a cheerleader. The general, in other words. Very well. Leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... <laughs> also, the first aid team is a little short-handed, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdies still can't decide. That's all for today. Yota's doing the three-legged race, Okosan's running the marathon, and Sakia's a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Uh, again, should it not matter? Probably not. Today's I don't know when the path goes off. <laughs> Today's the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... I can make this even worse by just continually hanging out with Yota. <laughs> oh, Yota. Oh, are you joining us? Wanna run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Okay. Get set, go! Yota's running for both of us. A pairing of a bird and a primate might have been a bad idea. We somehow came in second anyway, though. We have brought honor to our class. I think it's mildly hilarious that Yota runs for both of them, and she's not just dragging him behind her. <laughs> I actually want to know how large these birds are comparatively to Hyoko. They're supposed to be fairly large, actually, but I don't, I don't know comparatively. Hmm. Well, if they're sitting in normal people seats and like, yeah. I mean. <laughs> There is some of some of the concept art, like you know the initial character art, you know, mm -hmm. Nagaki and um, Okasan are both on the same page, mm -hmm. you know, hu human version Nagaki, mm -hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> Okasan's pretty tall compared to him. I don't know if it's just 
tail, but... <laughs> the first barrier for all students who make it this far in the midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. Just like us, son. Hi! Hmm, I don't think you did too badly. Y yes? Not too... Mm, nope, sorry. You did badly. No. Try harder next time, okay? I'm disappointed, Nanaki Sensei. I'll have to study more from now on. Yeah, like looking at the Zara, the sun's like freaking up to Nanaki's hips. <laughs> wow. I've had this dream a lot recently. God. I can see a little house on the other side of the fence. I wonder who lives there. I don't think it's anyone I know. Yota's next to me. And my parents are here too. We're all together again. But... Okasa? Odosa? Hey, wake up! Please! This festival in the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but the summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Hmm? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Okay. Salutations, Hayoko. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pinboard. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him right up right now, mon ami? Try googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. Okay. Uh oh, lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Hyoko. Hyoko chan. Hmm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the. Ooh. Are you? I don't know if there's a difference. Again, yeah, I have no idea. Well, what haven't we done in a while? I guess we haven't gone to the cafeteria in a while? Well, we did go to the girl, so. Let's go to the store. I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. I've never really looked around here before. Wow, they've got all sorts of things for sale. Though these nest building materials look like what you'd find in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, mon ami. Planning to settle down already? Yuya! N n no that's not it! I'm still a high school student! That may be so, but you know we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. They do? That seems a little hasty. With that aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? <laughs> Your love, of course. My look! You, yeah, that's. We're, we're not. I'm not good enough? Oh well. I'll have to try again later. Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? I think that's a little rude. I think it's a little rude, you, yeah? Oh, what is? That sort of loose talk, like I'm a gang or something. <laughs> you know, that's the first time a girl's ever said that to me. I'm surprised. Thank you, mon ami. I'll carry this warning in my pigeon heart forever. Adieu. <laughs> Hi, cheese. Hello. Attend. This is a math class. I always find myself wondering what the math we learn is good for. 
Ooh. And now we can draw a line perpendicular to that. Is this math class or nap time? Mm -hmm. It is time for Pigeon Backstory. We are we are about to embark on a journey of terrifying proportions. <laughs> we we are fulfilling the promise. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? May mother stay healthy this year, and may my stomach get better. Yota. Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, Monami. Yuya. <laughs> Literally, to the, our two boyfriends. <laughs> yes, the two boyfriends in the high, like at the top of the food chain in the harem. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, no. You don't know how many bird puns we've already exhausted. All of them. What should I wish for? Uh, the mad love of a fallen angel? Why not? I don't know if it'll make a difference, but we may as well herp every birdie into this. I wish for the mad love of a fallen angel. Yes, let us let us get everybody in, basically. Oh, hello. Is that you, Tosakasa? Nanaki-sensei, you should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um, yes, please. Why not? Yes, please. All right. We might as well do a digest of every bird. <laughs> Nanaki-sensei- Might they befriend every bird. Nanaki-sensei demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, eventually. Your house is very... rustic, Tosaka-san. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sensei? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left, a somewhat hollow sound and farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Alright, I should start getting in the habit of saving. Yeah, we haven't been doing that much. I know, because we can always just herp in through. I'm actually gonna save yeah. over this first one. Attend. We'll go to math class again. What else? I don't think it'll matter. Say, say, how will integral calculus help us in life? Hmm, hard to say. It might never help you at all, Tosaka-san. But only studying things that help you in your life is tiresome. Think of it as educational candy. Integral calculus is educational candy? I'm not prepared to accept this. Oh, uh, hold on. Alright. I'll be right back, guys. Key.
Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, just my mom having computer problems, apparently. <laughs> So I took this on here to get some more ice because it is still hot. <clears throat> Just a little longer until early release days. Finals are coming up and the glum depression is already settling in. But at least you won't have to swelter in the classroom all afternoon. Why is the school this famous even stingier with its air conditioning than a public school, anyway? Hiyoko! Yota! Have you had lunch yet? I was about I'm to back. go to the- Oh, welcome back. I just got back so myself. Bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, my mom had, like, weird computer problem or something. I don't even know. It's just, <laughs> just like, I can't log into this- this- uh, website, can you try the thing? And I'm like, um, why did you need my laptop? And like, I don't know. Yeah, what did you need your laptop for? <sighs> what else? Parents. <laughs> Have you had lunch yet? I was about to go to the cafeteria. Want to come with me? Okay. I heard they've expanded the menu and I wanted to try it sometime. They have massacred down in now. Is that like half... Dead fried rice? Probably. And Oko. <laughs> what? What's going on? I turn around to see a short dove standing behind me, his chest stained a deep red. You. Are you the one who called forth this, disa this disaster? The one who invoked the broad terrace of the blue sky? I have no idea. The, the blood! You're bleeding! My chest! You are... I'm still not sure about giving him a, a British accent, but... <laughs> Whatever, he's LARPing. Good enough. Yota, I don't think he understands Japanese. We have to get him to the infirmary. Oh, don't worry. Look closely. He isn't hurt at all. What? But the blood... He's the Luzon from the class next to ours. Their plumage lo just looks like that. What? Really? Correct. I am Higo de Angel, the fallen servant of God, stained with the blood of sin. Oh, Angel. <laughs> Angel. This impressively upholstered Berg is Higo de Angel. He's in the class next to ours, so he must be another sophomore. That's an odd name. I wonder if he came from overseas like Sakya. His Japanese is kind of strange, too. <laughs> the corruption spreads faster than I expected. I'd hoped to find it before it came this far. Sleeping servant of the heavens! Yes? Um, he is talking to me, right? Time is slipping by. Judgment draws ever nearer. You must find the truth by the light of the red moon. <laughs> I must last a little longer. Be silent, Crimson Beast! Breast, you're hurt, aren't you? Do not touch me! Farewell, Edelblau of the Blue Sky. Fate decrees that we shall meet again. He's gone. What was that all about? I think you picked up a weird one, Hyoko. Hmm, let's go eat lunch. This game. This game. It's too hot. I'm gonna melt. Pathetic Tosaka is expected to be a mere mammal. Aren't you uncomfortable too? I thought doves fared badly in the heat. Letting your weakness show in front of others is a mark of a vulg of the vulgar class. Hmm. Maybe I should take a leaf out of your book. And crash. Crash. The eye of the demon led me here. You summoned me once more, Apostle of the Blue Sky. 
him again. Who is this? I think he's named Angel. He's the class eccentric next door. Huh, another peasant. None of you have the right to even be in this school. Go back to the Philippines and bang some coconuts together, why don't you? Jesus, god damn it, Sakia. So racist. What is with the racism in this game, man? That's a fucking racist as hell. Luzon Bleeding Hearts are from the Philippines? That would be why they're called Luzon Bleeding Hearts. The Philippines have bananas, right? I don't want to call him Banana Man. God damn. Incidentally, Sakya is about as unhinged as Angel, so maybe they should be friends. I have no business with you, hallowed magician of white. Apostle of the blue sky! Yes? Can you not remember who I am? Um... <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter? I suppose it doesn't, but... shrug. Might as well. May as well. Could you be... a fallen angel escaped from the demonic prison of Judeca? Have you awoken at last, Apostle Edelblau? We have but little time left. You must decide. Will you cross swords with me on the promised ground, or... No, not now! Uh, Angel! He flies away down the corridor in spite of my protests. What a busy bird. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Tosaka-san? Sensei? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir! Success! We are befriending everyone. All the friendship. Oh. God damn, how long does it take us to s the promise? That dream again. Ryota, my parents, and me at a stranger's house. The strange bird who comes to me is a magician. He says he'll grant any wish that Ryota and I make. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But one day. Question mark exclamation point? Hmm. I'm actually not familiar with this part of the plot. <laughs> hmm. hmm. It's so sad. I know everything about all the characters, but like the actual route here I don't actually know a lot about. <laughs> Is that from all your poking around the internet? Little bit. I made mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Fell into spoilers. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seems long and sometimes it seems short. But either way, it's summer now. I'll go return the books I have out from the library. <laughs> Hello, Angel. <laughs> He appears like the Christmas star descending from the heavens. Edelblau of the blue sky, I am about to open a gate to the other world. What will you do? A gate to the other world? You mean... He stares intently towards the end of the hallway. The infirmary? A mere disguise, Edelblau. I sense a powerful evil magic inside. No doubt the tree of blight Rufa has taken root within. Left alone, it will soon swallow the entire school. We must stop it now. I wonder how Dr. Iwamine would react to an eccentric Filipino breaking down his door. Um... The time has not yet come. Don't, don't, don't kill yourself yet, Angel. <laughs> we have a promise to fill, don't die. The time has not yet come, Crimson Angel of Judeca. Is that true, Edelblau? Indeed. My demonic red eye feels no murderous aura. Perhaps it would be wise to wait and observe for a while. That's probably a good idea. The doctor didn't take kindly to roughhousing at me. Angel leaves satisfied. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. Hunter gatherers bodies are a way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Okay, we might skip through this part. 
We already know what's going on with Ani. Yeah. Sorry, Zombie, we love you, but no, now is not the time. We'll give the job to the <laughs> Mm-hmm. <sighs> that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. Okay, whoops, yeah, I'm just gonna skip this. Yo, that's me! Yo. <laughs> Yo. Mm -hmm. Alright, should we get the job and then give it to Yota? <laughs> nah, may as well. Might as well meet the other parrots, I guess. Okay, mm -hmm. we just saw this, so Kenza Rosa. And then Yota comes in for the job. Give the job to Yota. Urushihara-san, do you think you could take Ryota instead of me? Hyoko. I don't see why not, but... I don't really need the job, but Ryota does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. Are you sure, Hyoko? It's not really fair to you. I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day, too, but... Ryota works several jobs every summer to support his mother. Urushihara-san is a real gentle bird, and Yota deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. I know you do a good job, Yota. I... Thanks, Yoko. It's just setting ourselves up for heartbreak later, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yota... Well then, our encounter has been as transient as the comet's tail on the horizon, but I am glad I met you. Please do stop by. I will always be here, Yoko-san. I will. Thank you, Urushihara-san. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. Invite. Yo, Ota. Thanks for inviting me, Hyoko. Come on, let's go. So many booths. How are we supposed to choose? Use your hunter-gatherer instincts. I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Oh, hello, Tosaka-san. Sensei, gomenasai, gomenasai. I overslept. Overslept? Uh, my homework, I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself, Tosaka-san? Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? Oh. You're just a little bit early. Uh, though, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Tosaka-san? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library... We are studying in the library because we have to say hi to... We have to say hi to uh, Nageki a little bit. Nageki... The library should be open now. I think I'll go study. Um, I'm sorry, Sensei. I'm not sure if I prepared enough for my tests. I'd like to go study if it's alright. Of course. Work hard, okay? There are already a number of students working in the library. It looks like mostly third years. They've probably all decided on their colleges and careers already. Will I be that frantic this time next year, I wonder? <gasps> Nagaki is here too, leaning against a bookshelf in the far corner. Nageki! Tosaka-san. Did you need something? Why are you over here? There's still plenty of seats open. You should sit down. I don't mind standing. You look like you mind. You don't like being near other birds? Is that it? He nods. They'll just... They'll just ignore me anyway. Whether or not I go near... Nageki, are you being... bullied? He falls silent. If there's something wrong, I'd like to help. <laughs> Nageki! Um, good morning, everyone.
everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Cool! Oko-san is always having fun. Yep, yep. What is this fun? Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay. Focus. Focus, Sensei! Focus! <laughs> 